Good afternoon. Uh, on behalf of the National Math and Science Initiative, it's a true honor to welcome you all here today as we recognize and celebrate the hard work and achievement of our Pennsylvania partner schools. This group of schools, the administrators, teachers, and students could not be more deserving. Back in the fall 2015, I met with district administrators, many of whom are here today. And what I quickly learned was that these school leaders put student achievement first and create the conditions to meaningly support the development of teachers. Their commitment, as well as the tremendous dedication of teachers, is what brings us here today. I moved to Pennsylvania in 2010, and the first few years I found myself wondering, when will Pennsylvania start to feel like home? And a few things have helped, so every Friday when my four-year-old son wears his Steelers jersey to school, that helps. Um, but today is really special. Uh, being able to partner locally with school districts and then come together to celebrate their success, that is, what's, that is what makes Pennsylvania feel more and more like home to me. I have the honor of introducing our first speaker, Greg Fleischer. I met Greg in 2012 at an, ed at, at an education event in Pittsburgh. Hearing him speak about NIMSI's college readiness program was so inspiring. Um, and if you would have told me then that we'd be here today, five and a half years later, to celebrate Pennsylvania school success, I might have not believed you. But in the spirit of coming full circle, I'd like to introduce the president of the National Math and Science Initiative, Greg Fleischer. Good afternoon. I'm honored to be here today on behalf of the National Math and Science Initiative. And Governor Wolf, Secretary Rivera, thank you for your commitment to the teachers and students of the great Commonwealth. And we appreciate the partnership we have with you to partner with your schools, your districts, your teachers, and your students. Also want to thank other supporters, Senator Kamara Badalada and Senator Brewster. Thank you for being here also. For those, you, for those of you who are meeting us for the first time, NIMSI is focused on increasing student access and achievement in rigorous, high quality math, science, and English coursework in schools around the country. Students who master AP courses in high school are better equipped to thrive in the post-secondary coursework and more likely to graduate from college. This is especially true for math and science subjects. Thanks to a gen very generous investment from ExxonMobil and XDO, we partnered with the Pennsylvania Department of Education to expand NIMSI's college readiness program throughout Western Pennsylvania. This program empowers both students and teachers with the tools and resources to excel through training and mentorship, expert-led study sessions, awards, exam fee subsidies, and goal setting. Local schools are now in their first, second, and third years of the program. The schools that we have partnered with have not only just led the state in increases, but have also led the country. There are 5,000 schools in the country that had at least 50 qualifying scores in math, science, and English in 2016. And in terms of increases, the number one and two schools in the entire country were Trinity Area and Kiskey, the entire country. And for the 7,000 schools that had at least 20 qualifying scores, Ringgold led the entire country. It's just amazing what these schools have done. And it, it's not just these schools. We had schools that also led the state, uh, McGuffey, Burrell, Penn Hills, Chartiers Houston, Chartiers Valley, uh, Deer Lakes, and Peters Township. Those also were state leaders in the, country, in the state in, uh, last year with quali increasing qualifying scores. And oh, very specifically, the 14 schools that we partnered with accounted for 21% of the entire state's gains last year in, in, in qualifying scores in math, science, and English. Pennsylvania schools, with the great foundations of leaders and teachers they have, and with some NIMSI support, are showing the rest of the country what is possible for students in terms of preparing them for college and career. These achievements mean more Pennsylvania students will graduate prepared to thrive in college and careers. Since technology, engineering, and math, or STEM, it's the fastest growing segment of the workforce and it's part of our lives every day. Think about the cell phone you have in your pocket, the smart boards in your classrooms. 
Think about the tools and chemicals that fuel our steel mills and oil refineries, the skilled technicians and technology that drive Pennsylvania's manufacturing, as well as the precise levels of nutrients needed to grow local crops. Whether students aspire to work at Apple, in a school, a law firm, in a hospital, or a trade, then they need the knowledge and skills that come with a quality STEM education. These achievements also demonstrate what's possible when the education community, business community, students, parents, and lawmakers all come together in support of our schools and economic future. Congratulations again to the Commonwealth teachers and students. We know this success is just the start of what's to come. And on that note, it's my honor and great pleasure to introduce Governor Tom Wolf. Thank you very much, Greg. I, I also applaud the schools of Pencil Western Pennsylvania for doing such a great job in making Pennsylvania, uh, once again, let the world know how great Pennsylvania is. And to XTO, thank you very much for, for your support for this great program. Um, and Greg, thank you for that nice introduction. I really appreciate that. Uh, let me just say a few words about why this is important. My administration has been laser focused on improving Pennsylvania's public education system so that we can actually provide schools that teach. That's one of the three key elements of my administration. The idea is that if we have schools that teach for our children and students, if they learn more now, they're going to earn more later in life. So the work that the NIMSI, National Math and Science Initiative, is doing, and I'm glad it's not NMSI, NIMSI is a lot easier, perfectly dovetails with our efforts to create the best education system possible for the students in Pennsylvania. And the results, that, as Greg said, that they've been able to achieve are truly inspiring. Um, we are, uh, Pennsylvania, among the, the, the best in the, the country, and what he said really these things stand uh, among the best arguments I've heard for investing in our students and in our education system. The NIMSI College Readiness Program has helped students around the western part, especially in Pennsylvania, students achieve incredible results, setting them up for future success in education, which really means that eventually they're going to succeed in life and in their careers. NIMSI's done this by making the early investment in Pennsylvania's kids, just like we have here in Harrisburg. Of the schools taking part in the college readiness program after just one year of participation, we've seen a 75% increase in the number of students reaching AP qualifying scores, which is a three, four, or a five. And the college readiness program has proven to work for all students, for every student, regardless of demographics. So just after one year, we've seen an increase in AP qualifying scores to the tune of 69% for African American students, 74% for female students, and a huge increase of 165% for Latino students. And the numbers only improve over time. After three years, we've seen an increase in all of those categories. For example, 150% increase for African American students, 105% increase for female students. These results are incredible, and the results that M NIMSI has achieved once again proves that the best bet we can make is on Pennsylvania's uh, students. Results like this are why I've been working hard to rebuild Pennsylvania's education system and to make sure that when we invest in education, we're doing, doing it as efficiently and effectively as possible. And I think we've been successful. In the last three years, we've increased funding for Pennsylvania schools by nearly $840 million at all levels. We've been able to shrink the classroom sizes. We've been able to rebuild programs. We've been able to keep more teachers in the classroom. We've passed a fair funding formula that provides equitable and fair funding for school districts. We've increased the number of children able to attend high quality pre-K by 48%. We've increased Pennsylvania's high school graduation rate to over 86%. That makes us a national leader. We've increased the number of career and technical education students who earn industry recognized credentials by nearly 33%. And we've increased the number of credentials they earn by 49%. We've advanced Pennsylvania to third in the nation in the number of nationally recognized STEM ecosystems. And we've made Pennsylvania the fifth largest producer of STEM graduates in the country. We've reduced the length, I'm bragging here, I'm bragging here. We've reduced the length of PSSA tests and pushed back their start date so that our students and teachers have more time to focus on the classroom rather than on preparing for one big test. 
We're looking after our students' well-being by launching the It's On Us PA program to combat the scourge of sexual assault in our schools. And we've expanded enrollment in AP courses by 10% across the Commonwealth. And now, thanks to the work of partners like NIMSI, we are drastically expanding the number of students who earn qualifying scores from taking those AP tests. So we're incredibly proud, all of us, and in Pennsylvania, we all need to be incredibly proud of the work all of us are doing to improve our schools. I'm thrilled to partner with groups like NIMSI. They understand that when it comes to education, again, the best investment we can make is in our students. The results they've been able to achieve prove that when we give our students the tools they need to succeed, they get the job done. So again, I'm incredibly proud of NIMSI and I want to thank you for what you're doing here. Make no mistake about it, make, make no mistake about it, we will continue to partner with groups like NIMSI to make Pennsylvania schools better. And we'll continue to put education first on the list of my priorities. Because if all of us fail to give our children the best education possible, we will fail to provide uh, the necessary foundation for future generations to succeed in our economy. And that hurts every single one of us, all 12.8 million Pennsylvanians. And that's why I pledge to continue the fight to invest our time, our resources in the best shot we have for our future, and that's in our schools and our teachers and our students. So thank all of you for being here. Thank you for being here. And thank you especially to NIMSI for your commitment in helping Pennsylvania's children succeed in the classroom and to getting, getting them ready for, for college. Now I want to turn this over to somebody who I think has done more than anybody else to improve Pennsylvania's system of education. That's the Secretary of Education, Pedro Rivera, who comes to this job from the trenches. You know whereof you speak, and you're doing phenomenal work to make our schools better. So Secretary Rivera. Good afternoon. We've learned through research that the demand for education to fill high-skilled jobs and middle-skilled jobs, including jobs in the STEM field, are going to take over the job market in the next decade. We've learned that through the Center of Education Workforce at Georgetown University, 63% of jobs in Pennsylvania will require some form of post-secondary education and training. Yet only 41% of Pennsylvanians have a post-second degree post-secondary degree or industry-valued credential. Understanding this need, the governor took office and made a commitment to schools that teach and jobs that pay. So under his direction, the Department of Education aggressively moved forward to a fo from a focus on standardized tests to the Future Ready PA Index, which of course is going to identify achievement measures and we're going to focus on on-track measures but most importantly, we're going to start to identify and work with schools to provide students the opportunities to become college and career ready. We're going to engage in providing opportunities for students to become college and career ready by ensuring they have access to high quality programs, such as dual enrollment, advanced placement, international baccalaureate programs, and career and technical education programs. We're also going to focus on 339 plans where schools come together and create a college and career readiness plan, working with industry partners and business partners and partners like NIMSI to ensure we have access to world-class educational opportunities. And I'm proud to say that under the direction of Governor Wolf, we are fourth in the country in the preparation of STEM-related careers. We are also the only system of education in the country that are starting to focus on college and career readiness at the elementary school level and moving away from an assessment to standard-based criteria that will, that will ensure we're not only putting a test in place to ensure our students have access to career awareness, but starting with integrating kindergarten classrooms through eighth grade classrooms to ensure students are not only knowing what careers are, but are engaging in career integration programs. So through these partnerships, we're starting to see an organic growth of opportunities for students geographically driven across the Commonwealth. And through programs like NIMSI and creating industry partners like Exxon, not only are our students having access to world-class resources and educational opportunities, but our communities are coming, becoming better informed, engaged in the future workforce. So for that, it's my extreme pleasure and honor to introduce one of our partners and ensuring our kids receive not only the education opportunities they need, but quite frankly, 
the educational opportunities that all of our kids deserve. And quickly, I'm going to invite up and put them on the spot a little bit. So why don't you come stand next to me, um, Dr. Tim Scott from Kiski Area, Superintendent of Kiski Area School District. So I've had an opportunity to engage with, with Tim um, a good number of times you know, over the course of the past few years around the educational opportunities, Dr. Scott, the educational opportunities offered to students. We've also had opportunities to invite uh, members of our staff to participate um, in activities throughout the district. And every time someone comes back uh, from, from Kiski to PDE, I either receive a note or someone knocking on my door and saying, you have to go there and, and visit. You have to see this yourself. And um, you know, after you know, a number of times we've connected and, and have gotten to see a great number of programs, but as late as, or as early as last week, you again wowed um, some members of my staff and somehow he keeps finagling getting uh, the Kiski Area School District on my calendar for consideration. But I also have to thank you because of programs like yours, because of a staff like yours, because of the opportunities that you're providing to your kids in your district you help reinvigorate the mission and the values at the Department of Education. Because of leaders like you and programs like yours, we are always reminded why, important, why education is important and why providing high quality educational opportunities for our students are the only path forward and ensuring we have a successful Commonwealth. So without further ado, I'd much rather um, allow Dr. Scott to share with you all the great things happening in Kiski Area School District. Dr. Scott. Thank you, Secretary Rivera, for that very, very generous uh, introduction. Uh, I would like to, to just uh, ask him to, you might as well come on out to Kiski because you're not going to be able to continue to avoid us. Uh, good afternoon. Two men are hiking in the woods when suddenly from afar, they spot a grizzly bear beginning to chase them. So one man quickly sits on a log, pulls running shoes from his backpack and begins to take his boots off. Incredulously, his partner says, my God, man, what are you doing? You can't possibly outrun that bear. The man looks up from the log where he's lacing his running, sh running shoes and he replies, I don't have to outrun the bear. I just have to outrun you. <laughs> I share this as an allegory for what I think many of us experience in public education. You see, for those hikers, their predicament was a zero sum game. Survival for one must come at the expense of the other. Sometimes doesn't public education seem like a zero-sum game? In order for schools and districts to win, others must lose. And more tragically, that means some students have to lose as well. In his keynote last week at the PDE conference, Secretary Rivera told us that there exists this misnomer that if you're talking about equity for all, you intend to take away from the districts that have resources. Excellence and equity is too often interpreted as excellence or equity. And that makes many stakeholders very nervous and can prevent the necessary change from occurring. What we know about the best school systems in the world is that the gaps between the high and the low performers in each system is relatively narrow. And that each of these school systems have implemented strategies to ensure that all students, not just some, have access to high quality instruction. A board approved goal of Kiski Area School District is that we will eliminate the gaps in student achievement that are connected to race, socioeconomic status, and gender. Several years ago we confronted a school system that enrolled approximately 300 students a year into kindergarten, providing all of them with the same guaranteed curriculum, yet by the time those same students reached the 10th grade, only 10 percent of them we're receiving our highest level courses and instruction. Kiski Area's partnership with the National Math and Science Initiative is perfectly aligned with our mission of ensuring that all students are learning at the highest levels they ever have. Our success with NIMSI has provided evidence that schooling does not have to be a zero sum game. Because of NIMSI, we no longer have to attempt to outrun each other as those, as those hikers did. If we're going to outrun the bear, we're going to do it together. We may even stand and fight. And if we do it, we will do that together. But all really does mean all. 
And thanks to NIMSI, we can demonstrate that equity and excellence are compatible. In the year prior to our partnership, we had a total of 249 enrollments in advanced placement courses. This year, we have 559. And our increase in qualifying scores on AP exams has gone from 62 to 188. NIMSI's college readiness program is much more than an initiative. It truly represents a cultural shift. As an old Army sergeant, I often evaluate colleagues using the foxhole analogy. In the infantry, you share a foxhole with your buddy. And if you ever are in a combat, those defensive fighting positions are really important. I would like to close then by recognizing the tremendous talent and commitment of Kiski Area High School Principal and Assistant Principal, Mr. Chad Rowland and Matt Smith. Their tremendous leadership continues to create the environment for student success in our schools. So not only would I share a foxhole with either of them, I'd also let them dig it for me. <laughs> I sincerely want to thank Governor Wolf, Secretary Rivera, for being such tremendous advocates for students in public education in the Commonwealth. I want to thank NIMSI, ExxonMobil, XTO Energy. Your generous support is unlocking the potential for what can be accomplished for children across the Commonwealth and this great nation. It's now my pleasure to introduce the principal of Trinity Area High School, Mr. Tom Samoski. Good afternoon. It is such a privilege to have been invited to this event with Governor Wolf, Secretary Rivera, Senator Bartolotto, and all of our honored guests. Thank you for providing me with the opportunity to share my school's experience with the National Math Science Initiative. Trinity Area High School is located near the city of Washington, approximately 30 minutes south of Pittsburgh. As with many schools across the state, we desire to provide our students with the greatest educational opportunities possible. And the NIMSI program has proven to be an excellent resource and tool in our pursuit of that objective. Recently, the Allegheny County Conference for Community Development estimated that 29,000 new jobs will be opening due to economic expansion and retirements each year for the next 10 years. Our faculty, administration, and community recognizes that it is incumbent upon us to sufficiently prepare our students to effectively fill these positions and lead to future economic success of our region. Additionally, Trinity has established a priority focus on personalizing each student's educational experience through STEAM learning initiatives to ensure that they are career and college ready upon graduation. Thanks to the generous support of Exxon, we found a partner in the National Mass Science Initiative who had the same vision. Their model helped us to achieve a 188% increase in qualifying AP scores. 43 of our students were recognized as AP scholars. This is the largest number in our school's history. As with most schools across the state, we are tasked with implementing change initiatives in a cost-effective manner that also provides equitable access to resources for all students. NIMSI has been an exceptional program in achieving effective but fiscally prudent academic improvement. More importantly, NIMSI provides the network of support our teachers need to build capacity and instill confidence in all students regardless of economic status. NIMSI's approach enables us to implement a model of academic support and encouragement that impacts the confidence and achievement of not only traditional honor roll students, but all students who have been previously doubted their ability to succeed in an AP level course. The support and guidance we receive from members of our local NIMSI cohort strengthens our confidence as educators as well. We have demonstrated that through a cooperative effort with our neighboring school districts, we can achieve a common goal of mutual improvement. Additionally, NIMSI provides access to national experts who improve our curriculum and the implementation of effective pedagogy. This training and support system would have undoubtedly been unaffordable if we were not for the NIMSI program. When I consider where we started two summers ago with the implementation of this program, I'm so proud of my faculty and staff. Their willingness to change the culture of student expectation was nothing short of impressive. Teachers in grades three through 12 have developed techniques and improved strategies to guide their children to higher levels of learning. 
As exposure to more rigorous classwork increases, so too does their confidence and willingness to participate in honors classes. Without the professional development and support of the NIMSI staff, we would not have gained the skills and knowledge required to achieve such tremendous growth and improvement in qualifying AP scores for enrollment, as well as enrollment in AP classes. In the 16-17 school year, Trinity had 44 students enrolled in AP Physics. This year, we have 81. AP Calculus went from 51 to 67. AP Environmental Science and AP Biology increased by 50% as well. I believe the resources and access to a professional learning community have been a catalyst to this year's student success. In closing, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge Jackie Katzma and Mario Aline as NIMSI Director and School Relations and Program Manager. Their past experience as teachers has provided them with a unique perspective on the importance of developing student confidence as a critical component of student learning. They are always one phone call away with a word of encouragement or guidance to find a solution to any problem. As most of us all too, know all too well, as with any successful venture, the people make the difference. And the National Math Science Initiative has a caring and passionate staff. On behalf of the Trinity Area School District, thank you for being our partner. It is my pleasure to introduce Karen Matusik, XTO, Manager of Public and Government Affairs. Good afternoon. On behalf of ExxonMobil and its subsidiary XTO Energy, it is a pleasure to join you here today. We have been active in oil and natural gas development here in Pennsylvania for the past several years, and my colleagues and I very much enjoy working with and giving back to local communities where we operate. Thank you, Tom, for the very important job you do for Pennsylvania students, and I would also like to recognize Governor Tom Wolf, Secretary of Education Pedro Rivera, and our senators for joining us here today. Part of ExxonMobil and XTO's mission is to improve children's lives and our nation's future through high quality STEM education. It is very important for us to in include Pennsylvania in this program. We operate here in Pennsylvania, we live here, and we employ Pennsylvanians. So we are very keen to do our part to help the Commonwealth students succeed in the classroom and in the workplace. Having been an inaugural supporter of NIMSI, ExxonMobil knows firsthand that its college readiness program has produced significant and sustained results for students around the country for nearly a decade. And we were confident Pennsylvania's districts, teachers, students, and parents, supported by business, nonprofit, and civic leaders, were just the right community to achieve a similar success story. And as if you just learned, Pennsylvania schools haven't simply met those expectations, you by far exceeded them. And you're truly nation beaters in many of these categories. And we know this success will only continue, in large part due to Pennsylvania's talented teachers. And I'm married to a teacher, so I know this for sure. <laughs> and we all agree, teachers are critical to student success. And that is why we are especially proud to help NIMSI's Laying the Foundation program and make it available to all Pennsylvania teachers working in grades three through 12 to help them better support students in rigorous coursework. ExxonMobil and XTO congratulate you all on success and your hard work. This state certainly has a bright future ahead and we're just very honored to be a small part of it. Thank you. 